today we'll be reviewing low free flow 84 keys mechanical low profile keyboard from a software engineer perspective and uh, i am on a mac kind of i'm really accustomed to using traditional mac apple keyboard but i'm sure you've watched a bunch of different videos uh reviewing this keyboard with the sound tests but uh i will not be focusing all these basics but i'll just review it from the perspective of how i personally feel about it let's start with positives things that i think are pretty cool about it uh, that i personally find super attractive first of all what i was really impressed by is the creamy thawky sound it's it's really it's really good i'm relatively new to mechanical keyboards and i decided to pretty much ape in into this hobby and uh try a few keyboards and see if i will enjoy typing more because i do type on an everyday basis as a programmer myself uh, as an engineer you do a lot of typing you kind of work on the keyboard you know i tried keychrome before k3 i think and Nufi, uh Nufi low profile similar layout Nufi was uh, i didn't do a video unfortunately about it but um, um it's pretty cool it's much lighter than this this one has like an aluminum frame all around uh all around it's pretty heavy and um has some lighting what another thing that i like about it is the pretty cool uh background light so in the dark at night you can you can pretty much see another nuance is that even though it is a low profile you still want to have some pads because without pads it is uh quite high and it's really inconvenient to type in it because your wrists are kind of low relative to the to the keyboard which or maybe it's just me that i'm not being used to this yeah definitely having um something to prop up your your wrists is going to be super important uh, and super helpful for your experience with this keyboard and uh but yeah i think they're minimalistic enough to uh you know not to bother me too much i'm not a big fan of rgb colors all over the place i feel it's they look like a, you know cheap chinese christmas tree no offense to my chinese friends out there but it just looks really cheap uh, now let's look into some things that i a little bit critical of and i think that maybe can be improved or maybe some things that i don't think they can be improved at all at all on maybe this type of keyboard at all so first of all from the you know programming perspective what i'm seeing on a lot of reviews people like really enjoy the sound and uh, that's what they it seems like that's the only thing they care about and like how fast they can type on monkey type on key br but you know in day to day when you actually work on your computer and you're like me and you use a lot of keyboard shortcuts and you know you're used to uh, apple keyboard some of these shortcuts and key combinations will be problematic for you to replicate or you need to spend quite a bit of time adjusting to that so most importantly you can see that the bottom row of command option key keys are vastly different so a fan key is not on the right side but it's in the middle here so when you want to do some key combinations where that requires your right hand or left hand and you're used to like switching uh windows for example on your in your id or like switching tabs in the browser so for example with my mac keyboard i will like just use my thumb to press command option and i'll use like my pointer to uh left right and i can kind of like move around different tabs uh if i want to do a command option p it's just like one thumb uh, that presses it and i can like reach the rest of the keyboard same thing here if i want to do f function key press something uh, i have certain shortcuts that require all four of these and navigate around or i want to do all all three keys here I can do it with my thumb, uh, which is super helpful. With low free, you have to be really adjusting to that for quite some time. I guess this is my first day with it. Um, and it's definitely, I don't know whether I wanna be investing, whether like basically the upsides of the thocky, uh, creamy sound and some of the you know linear feel of it is worthwhile, my productivity drop for a few days or maybe for a week or so uh, probably it's going to be not in a few days it's going to be a week or more on the other hand side i do feel when i when i had a new fee for example for a few days um i think learning like spending a f you know hours typing in it and then switching back to apple keyboard i do feel that my like a different set of muscles are being engaged and i am maybe a little more efficient while typing on my apple keyboard so i think like switching keyboards once in a while it kind of like breaks your muscle memory you feel like you might learn a new thing about yourself or about your typing habits 
the aesthetics of this keyboard. So I do find that they, these eye aesthetics could have, it's quite minimal, minimal, this keyboard. I do find that they could have done even a better job at making it more minimal. For example, these bottom row of keys, it has like, option, control, alt. It, it looks a little bit, you know, not, I mean, maybe on a, on a camera, it looks fine on a picture, but when you look at it in person, it looks a little bit, you know, not very clean design. Could have been cleaner. The same thing goes for the top row of keys, this red, orange, it stands out quite a bit. It's, it feels noisy. They could have just made it a bit more subtle and would have worked just fine because aluminum on this keyboard does a fantastic job of making it like feel really good. It's quite interesting. I find a lot of YouTubers out there, they review all these keyboards and they never say nothing negative about any of them, which I suppose it's all about incentives because all of them, they really want to get sponsored by some company. They want to receive free keyboards or free devices for them. But, uh, you know, I don't really care because, you know, I bought it with my own money. If you want to send me keyboards, please do. Or if you want to send me anything, uh, please reach out to me. So not only will we be reviewing these white keyboard with ghost switches, but also will we'll also be reviewing this, uh, which is phantom switches. And I wanna see the, the difference between them, if there is any typing uh, experience difference and actuation force. These are phantom switches. Okay, let's get started. It's a bit hard to say which one do I like better. I do feel that the black keyboard looks uh, a bit more premium actually, surprisingly, uh, than, than the white one. I think just because they spoiled it with all these different, um, not very subtle prints on top. Um, but the touch, the typing experience, I feel quite similar. Uh, these are, even though these are different switches, I do feel that they're a bit more like clickier, not a lot, not like blue switches, but uh, just a little bit clickier. And maybe I do feel a bit more, can't say if the actuation force is different or not, uh, but there's definitely feels, they, they're not as linear as the ones. Anyway, yeah, I feel maybe I'll give them a few more days of a try and uh, see whether I want to return them. Most likely it's going to be a yes. Uh, one day I'll try a Moodlander or uh, some other split keyboard to see whether it actually improves my developer productivity and, you know, being a wider pose is going to make any difference. Or maybe I'll just stick to my, you know, Apple keyboard and maybe just upgrade to the one with, with the Touch ID. They definitely don't sound as nice as the mechanical keyboards and like the typing experience is not maybe that's nice, or like when you push individual buttons. But, you know, the reality is, well, I'm used to it. If you are used to it, it and you know, it's questionable whether you wanna invest that much time and effort into switching to a different layout. I think that's, that's pretty much sums it up. It does feel plasticky, but again, you can't miss it. If you're, if you're used to it, you might as well just, rather than spending money on a new mechanical keyboard, I mean, you can do that if you want to, but I would recommend you just spend time uh, practicing your typing skills, improving accuracy. I personally feel, and again, you feel free to prove me wrong, is that just buying yet another keyboard, it might not necessarily improve your typing accuracy. Hopefully this is useful for you guys. Please consider liking, subscribing this video and comment below what you think, what do you feel about the Apple keyboard, but also about uh, low free keyboards and uh, see you again. Hello friends, today we'll be reviewing Low free flow. Oh my god!